And here we are. We are in still in Asperia City. But now we're gonna get out of Asperia City because we don't like this town anymore. We have we have lived in this town for our entire lives because we are 14, 15, 16. I don't know what age my protagonist is. Not 10 because I don't want 10 year olds to be going out on a journey. Ignore that youngster and that lass over there because I think they're 10, but that's contradict my statement. Anyways, we've been living here for a while, so we want to get out of this town for once and all for all. So we're going to go over that hiker that was blocking us earlier because, I don't know, he was blocking us and he didn't let me go past before even though I didn't talk to him earlier. But you know, if you play this game, you'd know that he would be blocking you. So yeah, I speed this part up because I was trying to find that man with a potion because I skipped him earlier and it's always good to have potions. And I, uh, this part skipped up too. It's like all speedy because if you will see right now, I am pressing yes over and over because I wasn't looking at the screen. And then like Bianca was talking for a long time. So I was like, uh, you need to stop talking. And then I realized that it was toggled on it. Yes, all the time. But oh my god, it's an egg! Yeah. Uh, we're hatching this egg because I transferred it over to from my Pokemon Black version. And yeah, we got a Cyndaquil because Cyndaquils are cute. Yeah, I love Cyndaquils. They're like little little porcupines with fire instead of spines. Little porc spines, porcupine spines. So uh, we named this Pokemon, but uh, I'm not gonna say its name right now because you're gonna see see its name later. And why ruin the suspense? I mean, I ruined Cakes' uh, name suspense. I don't wanna make the same mistake. So it's Impish. So it's like special text, kind of like eh. But it's okay. Uh, Pokemon that I almost named said the name of will prove to be worthy because I was using it earlier and it was a good Pokemon. He was a good Pokemon. He was, he was doing a good job, and you will see later in this episode. So uh, we go through the grass, and we find no Pokemon in the grass. So that's happy. So now we talk to this guy who wanted to see the basic badge, and I show him the basic badge. He's like, "Oh, can I fight you for the basic badge?" And I'm like, "I'm not a gym leader, so I got a Vermilion because Vermilion he's gonna defend me even though he can't. So I go to Glade. So yeah, he's fighting. This guy's fighting me because he wants my gym badge even though I'm not a gym leader." So, uh, yeah, he goes to Riolu, and I just go out to Blade, and, uh, I think you heard that, that was, like, a Facebook message or something. Let me close the tab! Anyway, uh, Blade is, like, leering over here, and, uh, Vine Whipping, and I get a critical hit! I always get a critical hit! Like, I was watching previous recordings, and Blade get critical hits, like, left and right. Like, he got a crit in the rival battle, he got a crit, like, on one of the first trainer battles, he got a crit, uh... Somewhere in like the third episode, too. That was cool. So yeah, I named Cyndaquil Vermilion because it's a color and I didn't have anything else to name it. I bet I spent like an entire day thinking what to name Vermilion because uh, I didn't want to make the same mistake as Cake. So uh, I named it Vermilion, not Cinnabar, because Vermilion and Cinnabar are the same name same color, and you'd be like, oh, why not Cinnabar, that's a fire gym. Well, that's predictable, I'm naming it after the electric gym. And I guess that makes sense, because Cyndaquil can learn Ember, and Ember is called Sparks in Japanese, and Sparks is Spark English in electricity, so yeah, that makes sense. So anyways, I fought the Psyduck, I'm really late on this, so after fighting the Psyduck, uh, Charon comes over, and Charon's like, yo, if you go into this grass, you can find double battles. And he gives me Petra Berries, because the next gym is poison type and they can poison you so yeah he's doing a good job at being a friendly person unlike you so yeah Hugh was here and he was like you should do your best well you should do your best too you you look who's talking so I go through this grass and I find a great ball and luckily I didn't find any wild Pokemon in this grass I was actually surprised I, I almost went back and tried to find a, a wild Pokemon but yeah so I fight this kindergartner or preschooler and he, she has a cupcake, and I got to Vermilion, and even though Vermilion could probably take out this little pup, I just switch out to go to Glade, because Glade can fight little doggies. And I get the Orin Berry that uh, Alder gave me earlier, yeah. So I heal my HP, because, you know, I don't need to heal HP with potions, that's not for me, I'll do that later, when, when I actually need to use potions. Like, right now, no. See, I'm like at 3 HP, I don't need a heal, this is, this is all fine, all good. 
you don't, you're not, the, the overworld isn't the boss of me. I can heal when I want to. So I get an antidote. So it's kind of redundant because I just got Petra Berries, but you know, oh well. So I fight this woman, and this woman, she's like, uh, I always give my Pokemon. I always give my best when I'm playing Pokemon. I'm like, oh, me too. So she goes out to Dunsparce, I'm like, okay, seriously, that's a, a Dunsparce, that's your best? Like, what now? Are you going to, like, roll out? I better switch out. I better go to Cake, because Cake can, like, bite you. Because if, if you're roll outing, I can just bite the roll out, flinch you, and make you stop. Just like, so, uh... Bite, 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 and he's like spiting, she, she's making me trying to rue the day that I bite her, but you know, that doesn't work because bite has like 35 pp, so it's gonna take like 25 bites to like run out of bites. That doesn't even make sense because spike takes off 5 at a time, so she's bited me 2 times, oh no, that'd be like 25 bites, yeah, I'm actually correct. So um, I get ember, or like sparks, because you know, I, I said sparks earlier, Hinoko! So, uh, I got the dire hit, because this is a dire- I need to use this in dire situations when I need to get a critical hit. Oh, that's why it's called dire hit. Woo. So I switch up my team, because I know what's coming up. It's a double do battle. So yeah, I fight the double battle. And they have some Kern. Yeah. So I got the Vermilion and Glade, and Vermilion's finally gonna fight. Like, it's, he's level 9, and look, Glade's uh, like 3 HP, and I'm like, oh no, Glade's gonna die, but Glade doesn't die because the Sun Kern, it, it grows. It's, it's too, it's too self-centered and worried about its own self that it doesn't want to take out Glade. So yeah, Glade's life is spared, and we're going into the next city. It's called, uh, Verbank City. I think, oh, that's the date, it's the 25th of May, isn't that today? Yeah, that's today. Or probably another day by the time you look at this video, because time changes, but oh well. Uh, going into the city, and the extra receiver is ringing, and mom's like, No, I love you. Yeah, she's like saying she misses me and asks me to go home, but I don't want to go home. This is the beginning of my adventure. This is only part four, mom. So, uh, then, speaking of parental issues, Roxy's over here with Pop Rocks, and Pop Rocks is whining because he wants to be a Pokestar guy, but Pop, but little Roxy, she's, she doesn't want that, because there's only room for one musical star in the family. So yeah, uh, we cut this out, and we're gonna go into the Burbank Complex. Except we're not going to the Verbank Complex, we're going to check this trash can, which is empty. And then I remember, oh no, you get the Pokeballs from this guy, not the trash can, because this ain't the SSN. You don't get bit random berries in trash cans. So, uh, we we'll go over here, and then Shaking Grass. No way, not Shaking Grass. Dang, I spoiled it. Oh well, I already spo I spoil everything. Every episode, like episode 1, I didn't spoil anything. But in episode 2, I spoiled that we were gonna... What did I spoil in episode 2? I spoiled that something, but in episode 3 I spoiled that we were going to use the x items. Now I'm going to try to remember what I spoiled in episode 2. Uh, I don't remember. Oh well, I'll probably remember at the end of this part and be like, Dang, why didn't I learn to say that? So I get Silk Scarf, and the Silk Scarf is pretty cool because I can boost tackles, but you know, that doesn't really matter because I don't use tackle on boot on my Yoterry, uh, not Yoterry, what's it called? Lillipop on cake. I don't use tackle on cake, no siree, I just bite everything because everything's delicious. So, uh, anyways, now I find the Shaking Grass, and I'm like, oh, I can't miss this opportunity, I want to level up. So in comes this Odzino, and I'm like, Odzino, do you want to die? And he's like, I don't know, and I'm like, puns, that's incredible. Yeah, so I burn it, because, you know, sick burns, and I go to Glade, because Glade's running low on XP, too. Like, Cake is on level 14, and then the other two are not, not level 14, so, you know, I should take this opportunity to get everybody up to speed. Well, she's double slapping me, and this little Odino, she got five double slaps. Like, what the heck? That's not fair. And uh, Tackle doesn't KO, so I'm like, oh no, she's gonna get five double slaps again, but she didn't double slap me. And now I'm getting growth. And even though the demise of Sunkern was because it used growth, I'm learning growth because I'm smarter than Sunkerns and I'll growth when I should grow and not because I can grow because I don't abuse my power. So I find another X item, and this is an X accuracy. So that's pretty cool. 
And now we're in the verb in complex, 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 complex. There we go. So that's why like this guy, and he's like, if you can tell my workers to stop messing around, I'll give you this rock smash TM. So I'm like, okay, are you a worker? And he's like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm an underpaid child labor guy. And I'm like, oh no, should I free you? He's like, no, I'm gonna battle you. And I'm like, oh no, enthusiastic cry. And I burn him! And yeah, I have Fire Blast on Vermillion, because, uh... I, the Vermilion, he is the child of a Typhlosion that I used in Soul Silver um, last month, and I forgot that when you breathe, you get Fire Blast, because Fire Blast, the Typhlosion had Fire Blast, and Fire Blast is a TM move, and yeah, I just stayed on on the Cyndaquil. So I'm just going to use it, because this is a, a regular playthrough and such, so I don't need to be, like, restrictive or anything, like... You know, if the game thinks it's unfair, then the RNG will make me miss Fire Blast a lot. So yeah, that's that's how I'm gonna deal with that. So I find this Magnemite, and I'm gonna KO this Magnemite because I'm just like a bit of XP away from an evolution. So yeah, that'd be cool. And these, these things, they grow up so fast. Like, it wasn't 11 minutes ago, Cyndaquil, little Vermilion, he was like born, and now he is an adult. So yeah, adult, not adult, teenager. He's going through a rebellious phase. Like I, he, look at that mohawk. Wait, 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 wait. Look at that mohawk. Yeah, he's in rebellious punk rock phase. So that's pretty cool. And uh, I love Quilava. They're pretty cute. I once had a Quilava on another Soul Silver game that I was playing, and I didn't evolve the Quilava ever. Like I was fighting Lance, and Lance was like, "Yo." Why do you have Qualava against my three Dragonites? And I'm like, yo, I am the opposite of you because you use uh, underleveled evolutions and I use overleveled pre evolutions. So I fight this Adino because I was walking, minding my own business, and then Adino just popped up. I'm like, you know, I shouldn't waste experience, you know, I, I should just like hail this thing, get more experience because why pass it up? It'd be a waste. I need to exterminate Adinos. Because, oh, no, that's a bad thing, because my brother's favorite Pokemon is Arduino, so I shouldn't tell him about this, or else he'll be mad at me that I'm, I'm, I'm killing off his favorite Pokemon. Anyways, he's helping Handon, but that doesn't do anything, because it's singles, and I get a bunch of experience, because these things are like the Blissies, or Chanseys, of Gen 5. So, I switch out my Pokemon, I think, no, I think I'm healing, I'm healing Glade, aren't I? Yeah, because Glade is like 7 HP, that's a bad thing. See, now I'm healing Glade. Before I was relented to heal him, but that's because I knew that I wasn't really going to need Glade, but now I know I need Glade later because there is Pokemon trainers about, and they can fight me. So, I fight this little girl, and this girl is like, look at my woo bat. I'm going to woo you with this woo bat. And I'm like, I'm going to swoo you with this cake. And she's like, yum 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 cake. And she blows away the cake because it's birthday candles. And I bite the cake. No, I don't bite the cake, I bite the bat. Yeah, because it's a piñata, so I swing the bat at the piñata, and yeah. Uh, I talked to this, this, uh, scientist guy, and I speed it up because, like, he's super annoying. Like, you, you go talk to him, I talked to him in the grass, then he ran away, and I talked to him again, and he ran away again. And he's like, why are you stalking me? Have this ether and leave me away, or ether, 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 I don't know. So, uh, we're gonna walk through over here. I think there's an item again, and this is a recurring thing. Like, every time I think there's an item, there's no item, it makes me sad. One day I'm gonna stop hunting, and then there's gonna be a Master Ball hidden right in front of me, but you know, you'll never know. So, uh, I go out to Cake, and Cake can't fight Mavis, can it? No, yeah, I can. It can just Leer them, because I'm afraid to get burned, so I Leer once because I want a two-hit KO this, or one-hit KO, and I one-hit KO, but I get burned anyway, so, you know, it was all in vain. And I'm learning Takedown, which is a bit better than Odor Sleuth. What am I talking about? It's way better than Odor Sleuth. Odor Sleuth is... Bad because I have bites and that's the only move I use ever. So I go to Vermilion. Vermilion embers this thing and it does like half damage. I'm like, whoa, Vermilion OP, please ban. So yeah, this is the best city ever. JK, Celadon is the best city. It's my favorite city in all Kanto. So uh, yeah, we're switching up the team because we don't want Cake to get all the experience. We've been over this. Everyone else is on low level. Well, probably not. Everyone is at equal level, but. Yeah, I think Cake is actually the lowest level of my team right now. Why did I switch him out? Oh yeah, because he's burned! So I'm going out these, this dangerous maneuvering pipe 
walk thing. And I fight... What? I fight this trainer. Okay, so funny story. Uh, I edited the, the thing wrong. So you can have like two seconds, three seconds of me being like, what the heck is going on? So yeah, I fix it and I fight this Patrat. And I'm putting the blame on the Patrat because no one likes Patrat. They're just looking at things. I think it was trying to like look at the playthrough all by itself. It's like jealous. It's like, no, only I can look at the playthrough. Other people can't look at the screen because only I can. So I, 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 I get remove of that. I get rid of it, not remove of that. Wow, grammar. So, uh, I go out to Glade. Glade's already out. What am I talking about? I'm stressing over everything. Uh, so, Snivy, Glade. Ugh, what am I? Let me, let me restart. Let me restart. Glade kills the Ella kid, and, uh, learns Leaf Blade. Not Leaf Blade. Wow, am I? Where? I'm bad at names. <laughs> so, it was a Leaf Tornado, not a Leaf Blade. What am I even talking about? So, I fight this youngster, and the youngster is like, uh, my name is Waylon, and here's another Patrat. And I'm like, oh no, Patrat, I hate Patrat. So, uh, Glade is gonna, like, growth because, oh no, I'm gonna wave Tornado, what if he, like, KOs me with the bye, I don't know, but luckily I don't miss. And that's good, so I can two-hit KO it before it gets me with the bye. And bye-bye, Waylon. You were excellent for giving me XP. So, I fight this worker. Because the workers like to battle. And there's Riolu. And Riolu gets to fight Glade. And Glade is like getting all the screen time. And Gl Glade is growing. And I've been using growing a lot. Growth a lot. Because it makes my attacks want to KO everything. Because Glade is super strong. And Glade's just a little leaf tornadoing everything. And it's super cool because like she. He. Sorry. Not a she. Glade is like my starter. And starters can one hit KO everything except if you're a bay leaf. Anyways, I get Rock Smash because Rock Smash is a really cool move that I don't teach to any of my Pokemon. And I'll see you in the next part.